Hello, noble viewers, and thank you for tuning in for Planet Earth, Our Loving Home. In today's show, we are honored to have Swedish member of the European Parliament, Jens Holm, speak with us on solutions to save our precious planet. The European Union is an active advocate in calling for measures to curb climate change. Aside from its efforts to promote stricter CO2 emission standards and measures, the European Union has also begun to highlight the role of a vegan, meaning animal-free diet, in easing global warming. These strides in the European Parliament are the result of grassroots efforts and many distinguished and forward-looking European politicians, such as Mr. Holm, a vegetarian himself. Mr. Holm is on the European Parliament's Temporary Committee on Climate Change, as well as the Committee on the Environment, Public Health and Food Safety. Along with climate change issues, he is concerned about animal rights and global justice. Mr. Holm has also produced documentary films which investigate and expose the cruelties in animal industries. Today, Mr. Holm shares with us the significance of a plant-based diet in stopping global warming to preserve our planetary abode. Climate change is uh, one of the main uh, topics I deal with in the European Parliament. And uh, as you know, if we don't tackle uh, climate change uh, right now, we will not have a planet to live on in the future. So it's, uh, it's an issue that uh, deals with uh, our future and especially uh, the coming generation. So it's, an, uh, it's a matter of uh, justice and solidarity to make sure that the uh, emissions uh, will go down and uh, they must go down uh, quite a lot and uh, especially we in the rich world in Sweden, Europe, North America we have to completely change our lifestyle and that means in practice that uh, in Europe we have to take some uh, quite uh, serious decisions and uh, that will lead to uh, new demands on the whole European industry that will lead to uh, cut the emissions from the private car sector and cut the emissions from the aviation uh, eat less meat. So that, that are some of the ideas which are behind uh, cutting the emissions. With their deep understanding of the meat industry's impact on the environment, in 2007, Swedish journalist Mr. Teufel Jokula and Mr. Holm produced the report The Livestock Industry, the EU or European Union, makes bad worse. This article has aroused widespread concern and brought vegetarianism to the forefront in the European Parliament. Perhaps uh, not so many people uh, reflect upon the fact that uh, we eat actually more meat than ever uh, in the world's history. And uh, that uh, producing uh, meat and other animal products is a uh, very uh, inefficient way to produce food for people. You need about 10 to 15 kilograms of uh, vegetables to produce one kilogram of beef. You need about 15,000 liters of uh, fresh water to produce the same uh, kilogram of beef. Uh, so that is just one uh, example of that uh, the inefficiency of the meat industry. The meat industry is also uh, actually uh, responding to about 18% of the world's emissions of uh, greenhouse gases. Uh, that means that uh, this is an industry which is actually causing much more damage than the global transport industry is doing. So we must eat less meat uh, and uh, especially in the rich world in North America and in uh, Western Europe we have to eat uh, less meat. Numerous studies have pointed to that fact that a plant-based diet would solve many of the world's environmental and social issues. There are, uh, I mean, more than 800 people living low uh, sustainable threshold in, in the world and uh, those people are starving all the time. So uh, that is exactly the kind of uh, issues we have to focus on. Driving less cars and uh, using less crops for biofuels, uh, that would be one way forward. Uh, but the greatest impact you actually could do, that would be to reduce uh, your meat consumption or stop eating meat uh, totally uh, that would uh, give such a great and positive impact because then you would create a surplus of uh, crops that could be used to feed the people who are starving today. In the report 
the livestock industry and climate, EU or European Union makes bad worse, Mr. Jokla and Mr. Holm wrote, climate change is developing into the greatest threat ever to our world survival. There is a relatively high awareness of and preparedness for some of the worst emissions, such as industry and the transportation sector. But one of the most damaging contributors to climate change is, remarkably enough, conspicuous in its absence from the debate, the food industry. When we started to look into the budget for the European Union, uh, and we noticed that uh, a quite substantial part of the EU budget is actually directed directly to the meat industry in terms of uh, so-called intervention money. That means that the European Union buys all the surplus of meat in the Union uh, in order to protect the meat producers. There were also marketing money for meat. So uh, private companies receive money fr directly from the taxpayers through the European Union in order to uh, market uh, meat products and uh, that cannot continue in the future. The report advises the European Union and governments to take active and effective action to promote environmentally friendly and sustainable food consumption. The European Union is uh, subsidizing uh, the meat production with billions of billions of uh, euros and uh, that is not acceptable because uh, this uh, subsidies goes to uh, production which is uh, completely in uh, contrary with uh, sustainability and uh, a planet in uh, imbalance. So one of our demands was that the European Union must uh, take away all the subsidies to the meat production and that the European Union instead uh, should uh, give incentives to um, vegetarian consumption. When planet Earth, our loving home returns, Mr. Holm continues to share his suggestions on how the government and individuals can help preserve our planet. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. My name is Jan Solm, I'm a member of the European Parliament. Please, be veg, go green, save the planet. Welcome back to Planet Earth, our loving home. Today's episode features Mr. Jens Holm, member of the European Parliament from Sweden, who discusses the role of vegetarianism in curbing climate change. Climate change is the biggest threat ever uh, for the planet and uh, that is because the emissions of uh, greenhouse gases is uh, increasing uh, more and more. And, uh, at the same time, there are a lot of things that uh, you and I uh, can do as individuals. For instance, uh, we could eat less meat or we could uh, become uh, vegetarians or vegans uh, entirely. That would be actually perhaps the biggest step a human being can take uh, in order to uh, cut uh, greenhouse gases. But also, we should uh, uh, really be active in politics and in organizations and make sure that our governments and political parties uh, do what they have to do and that is not to subsidize the meat industry, promote uh, vegetarian food for instance. In the article, The Livestock Industry, the EU, European Union makes bad worse, journalist Mr. Toivo Jokola and Mr. Holm concludes with suggestions on what the government should do Abolish meat subsidies, let meat bear its own environmental costs and work to make modern vegetarian food cheaper. The society should use uh, money to, um, to spread information about uh, the benefits of vegetarian food in, uh, in the schools and also in uh, other public facilities such uh, as the elderly care and uh, perhaps also kindergarten for small children so they get used to eat uh, vegetarian food because uh, that is good for uh, everybody. It's not only good for the environment, it's also good for the animals obviously and also for uh, your own health. Today there are European subsidies uh, going directly to advertisement campaigns for meat consumption. 
it should be the other way around. We should have uh, awareness campaigns for vegetarian consumption because that is the solution. Another way forward could be to, uh, to tax meat, for instance, to make meat more expensive, and that is to internalize the environmental and uh, animal welfare cost of meat. And then uh, the money you, uh, you gain from uh, this meat tax can be used to subsidize uh, vegetarian foods. So there are many things that, uh, that can be done. And who knows, uh, one day in the future, perhaps we live in a world where people are not eating animals. In 2008, together with the Swiss Union for Vegetarianism and the European Vegetarian and Animal News Alliance, Mr. Holm launched Food vs. Feed, a petition to the United Nations and its agencies. The campaign's goal is to collect at least one million signatures to promote the plant-based diet. All these signatures will be delivered to United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, as well as Dr. Jacques Diouf, Director General of the Food and Agriculture Organization, and Dr. Margaret Chan, Director of the World Health Organization, on October the 1st, 2009, in New York, USA, Rome, Italy, and Geneva, Switzerland. In addition, Mr. Holm has also launched a similar petition campaign with the Nutrition Ecology International Center, urging the European Union to abolish subsidies to the livestock and fishing industries. That's a very uh, important means and uh, because that shows that there are thousands of thousands of uh, uh, people signing such a petition and uh, showing their uh, deepest concern in this issue and asking the United Nations to address uh, the meat consumption as a political problem because it is a p political problem so petitions demonstrations uh, articles in newspapers these tv shows there are so many things uh, that can be done on the grassroots level and i can feel as a politician i i listen to all these expressions that, that come a couple of years ago there were very few and now i can see a growing awareness in the meat consumption area and that is really good on December 2nd, 2008, the Temporary Committee on Climate Change of the European Parliament passed a report that puts forward a series of recommendations for a future integrated European Union policy on climate change, in which vegetarianism and a reduction in meat consumption are listed as important approaches. Regarding this decision, Mr. Holm commented, it's almost historical to get such a wide support for the demand to reduce meat consumption. And the report uh, which you mentioned, uh, which I brought together with, with uh, Mr. Jokola, uh, when we translated that from Swedish to English, uh, it uh, created uh, actually a big debate within the European Parliament and in circles outside. So bringing up the meat industry and promoting vegetarian uh, food as uh, one of the solutions on the climate problem, that is perhaps one of the issues I'm actually proud of uh, bringing up in the European Parliament and uh, establish a European discussion about that. As a world citizen and parent, Swedish Parliament member Jens Holm shares his vision for the future. My hope for the children of the future is that uh, they can live in a world which is uh, in accordance to, to nature and that means a world where we have uh, solved the poverty problem where all the people uh, in the world they have a house and they can uh, eat uh, three meals a day and that we live in a world which is also in, in accordance with, uh, with the animals so that we don't uh, breed animals, that we don't transport animals, that of course we don't kill the animals, uh, that the animals can uh, live uh, more or less free and that we live uh, together and not against uh, nature. And that is my goal. We applaud Member of Parliament Jens Holm's noble vision and outstanding contributions in helping to save our planet through the animal-free diet. May heaven bless his and all like-minded endeavours with fruitful success. Thank you for joining us for today's Planet Earth, our loving home. Our show airs every Wednesday on Supreme Master Television. Up next, stay tuned for enlightening entertainment right after Noteworthy News. 
May your life be filled with love, peace and grace from heaven. 